Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to it, my name is Taylor and today we're going to be rock hunting on the north shore of Lake Superior in Minnesota. It's a beautiful calm day and I have some absolute rookie rock hounds with me today. My mom and my son and you know what? I think they're good luck charms because I just found something really amazing on the walk over here. Check this out. So my mom there has found her first Lake Superior agate and we're going to show that in a little bit. It's really beautiful. Got some great bands but as we're walking over I was waiting in the lake. <laughs> I found this agate. Check this out. We'll get a wet. This thing is a whole big chunk of orange goodness. It's got, for uh, the variety, it would be a moss agate. It's got some mossiness going on. A lot of, in, like right there, it's a good tell. It's very waxy, it's translucent very much shocked me when I pulled it out and very sad that I didn't have any of the cameras ready to go. This is one that I will absolutely be cutting. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is awesome. Let's see what else we can find today. I got uh, another piece of Jasper here that we found. And then here, is the agate that my mom found. This is her first Lake Superior agate. It's so beautiful. Yay! Beautiful bands. Really cool. And then she's got a handful of little glowing goodies that she's going to bring back home after her vacation here. So we'll keep finding some good stuff. Yeah, look at the bands on this one. Very oh, cool. Yeah. We'll get some close-ups of these at the end. And some Jasper. Of course. You're doing such a good job putting in the work, my man. Found a couple others. A little smaller, but really good bands on this one. That's pretty cool. So here's a handful of stuff my mom has been finding while I've been chasing this little bambino around. I've got a very small handful of bits and whatever that I've been picking up while I'm chasing him around. But we're going to move down the beach a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do some waiting in the lake to see what I can find as we move down there. Alrighty, so a little bit ago I found this piece of jasper. I found, there's a bunch of them, but nothing really crazy. But this one on the top almost looks purple, which is pretty cool. And then I was just looking down and that white rock right there looks kind of neat. So I'm going to grab that. And uh, let's go take a peek at it. It almost looks like it's got purple in. Um, oh wow, that's a Saganite agate. See the sprays? Oh wow, that's got purple in there. That's got amethyst. You can see the bands around there, host rock there. Wow. <laughs> that's one of the best Saganite agates I've ever found. We'll get some close-up details of those sprays at the end. <laughs> wow, that is really pretty. That's finding some good stuff today for size. That's pretty nuts. I think I might have found a, a galaxy stone. It's right there. Let's see if I can grab it. I got my left hand here. Oh my gosh, that's got bands in it. Wow, hold on. Let's pop this up here, take a peek at it. Wow, it's got bands in the host rock there. Bands right there. <laughs> That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Noah just helped me find this guy right here. It's like a nodule, but it's got a window with some bands. Oh, cool. Try to get a good shot of that. Yeah. And some bird crap on it. That's quartz. It's not bird crap. Oh. Oh. Noah wants it. And this is probably just... Alright. You having fun, buddy? <laughs> 
Well, we found some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna head back and we'll show you everything we found today and take a real close look at some of those bigger finds. Those are really awesome. Alrighty, we're back and I got everything that my mom found here in this bag. And I'm going to show you a few of the pieces, some really cool stuff. She found some good Jasper, which is awesome. A little beautiful chunk of porphyry. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, she found some pretty cool stuff. She found some, I love this thing. It looks like a little egg, a little nodule. And then this piece was her first find. Absolutely amazing agate. So that's pretty cool. Really beautiful. Love that side. Really great. So here's everything that I found, minus the three big chunks that I want to show you, which is this galaxy stone. You can see some bands up in there. Some right there. So there's a little bug pocket right there. That's really cool. Yeah, pretty cool. This would be a good one to cut, I think. Then there's a Saganite agate. You can see the sprays down here. Really cool. Really, really cool. It's kind of sprays throughout. You can see on the bottom down here as well. There's some. There's some right there. Some kind of neat banding around the host rock here. And then where's that pocket? Right here. Really cool. Orange. Very light purple. Very light. Probably exposed to a lot of UV. That's why it's so faded. So that's a pretty cool little Saganite agate. And then last but not least is this big chunk. This agate here. I am gonna go ahead and say I am probably 95% sure that this is a Lake Superior agate. There is some moxiness going on. This is dry. Uh, a lot of waxy pieces right here. A lot of these pits and pockets. To me this, I like I said, 95% sure that this is an agate. It's just been one of the lucky ones that has not been fractured or had any bits broken off of it. It's just whole. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting it right here all the way around hoping my saw is big enough to do that and then we can expose it and hopefully there's some bands in there and uh, for example I wanted to show you this other agate here that makes me believe that it is an agate because I have found this one in the past where people didn't really think it was an agate and then cut it open and a uh, moss agate absolutely beautiful but that's pretty cool so even if it's mossiness on the inside it can be very beautiful so yeah i am very hopeful let me get this wet to show you that as well so yeah there it is wet um when i saw it in the water i was like yep that's an egg it's gotta be you just don't find stuff like this that much so that's why i said i'm like 95 percent sure let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you think it is or not and uh, we'll be cutting it in another video i'd like to have done it in this video but it snowed and it's too cold out to do that so gonna wait till it's a little nicer out but yeah pretty excited and i weighed it it is 1.2 pounds it is my biggest agate yet yeah i'm excited to cut it open and hopefully expose some bands because right now it's just a big chunk of i guess technically kill sydney so uh, which is still beautiful really cool so that is that well that's everything we got for that adventure i had an absolute blast bringing my mom and my son out there Hopefully she can come back soon and we can get her out to find some more agates. And I definitely look forward to bringing my little guy with a lot more as the weather warms up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, leave a thumbs up. And hopefully we have some good luck cutting that thing open in the future. See you next time. Bye. Tut, tut, tut.